March is Women's History Month, so to celebrate, First News at 9 is proud to present Remarkable Women. This month, we've been recognizing local women who have made remarkable contributions to their communities. Tonight's story is about Eve Molzon, owner of Fun for Pets, Possum Pets Country Club, and a handful of other pet-related businesses, organizations, and training programs. Eve has risen from meager beginnings to the heights of her profession, but the way she mentors and treats her staff like a family is what makes her truly remarkable. I'm Stephanie Klein, and I am Eve Molzon's virtual personal assistant. I nominate her, uh, I think she does a lot of things in the community, um, just with all of her organizations, that she deserves the, you know, the recognition. She never was handed anything, and she built all these businesses from the ground up on her own, which I think is really remarkable in that sense. And it just kind of gives hope to, you know, women entrepreneurs that they can do it themselves too. It does go back to the whole, you know, leave the world better than the way that you walked into it. But I think it's more so of how do we get people to see that earlier? We always look at the analogy, the glass half full or the glass half empty. She just said, you have a glass, let's go do something with it. So that's the analogy that I really look at when I'm hiring people. I would say the most impressive thing about Eve is that she always has a smile on her face and she, her personality, whether, you know, the, there's a good day or a bad day, you know, she can crack a joke, she'll have fun, she'll, you know, engage with her staff. She wants to help others and, you know, she's always positive about it and trying to, you know, be motivating and you never really see her upset or down. A lot of the people that are employed with me, when we talk about our why, why are we in the dog daycare industry, why are we taking care of animals, we go to the nonprofit that I created where we take in dogs from shelters and rescue who are from the trailer park in the sense of, you know, they had some trauma and how can we help them get over it? And so you take a trauma person and a trauma dog and wow, the synergy just happens naturally. There's compassion and empathy and baby steps. And I think a lot of the people that go through trauma when they work with a trauma dog they realize things within themselves. They can relate to that mentality within the dogs. And then the fact that the dogs are giving them purpose and giving them that feeling of love and giving them that feeling of self-worth. Because we, the human, have choice. The dogs coming into our care have choice to an extent, but they didn't choose to come into our care. So then therefore we have to have purpose in taking care of them. The world is full of dictatorship and being told what to do and all that kind of stuff. So by helping to lead people and show them they have choices and how to make good choices, you get a much better response. And if you'd like to revisit any of our previous Remarkable Women's stories that we aired throughout this past month, you can find them all on our website, wiproud.com.